Well, we're playing the patience game with this single lioness. There's so many animals around her. We are hoping that one of these male wildebeests goes meh, meh, meh into her clutches. As you can see, there's a few of them just behind her to the right that have been chasing each other around a bit. And uh, I'm hoping that that lot might come a bit closer. They seem to forget they've seen a lion. Oh, there's one for the bird list as well, for those Egyptian goose. Uh, well, one I think you've all seen at Juma, but for the Kenya list at least. Now she's in a good spot there. If she just keeps, still keeps her head down during the day, I'm pretty sure uh, a wildebeest will stumble upon her. Now, as I said, there's uh, so many animals around here. Julie is wondering how often will lionesses be on their own? But Julie, it all depends. In this area, it's not that uncommon. There's just so much food, so it's not too much problem. Dave, are you ready for a challenge? Yeah. Wire-tailed swallows. Uh, wait, they're gonna come back around in front of us. Another one for the bird. Let's hear they come. Oh! -ho. Riding the winds. Boom! Yeah, they're a bit quick, I think. And, uh, oh no, where did that other one go? Now, as I said, you constantly have to have your binoculars up because you never know what might be. Oh, there's, and there's Howard running uh, towards the crowned cranes. Don't think it's actually after the crowned cranes. I think just, it's heard something, probably other hyenas somewhere. So they're on their way. Where are you off to? So I think most of those hyenas we saw earlier have made their way into the, the, the marsh and uh, they just, you know, lying nice and comfortably in some nice wet mud, uh, cooling down. And what most of them we saw had really big fat bellies. And lots of zebra around. Lots of wildebeest. So, out here, and it doesn't mean they're not part of a pride, but there is just so much food around that they are able to survive on their own. Although, I think this is a particular, a slightly more difficult area just because there is a hyena den close by here, and uh, there are lots of hyenas, so it can make it a little bit more challenging. But the hyenas will get full, and uh, she will get her chance. There we go, we've got some Tommies, some Zebra. Now, let me just move the car a tiny bit back, Dave. So how many well, how many species are we on from here? Let me just think about this quickly. So we've got Thompson's gazelle, Grant's gazelle, wildebeest, zebra, lion, hyena, jackal. What am I missing? I know we had more. Hey, let's start again. Oh, topi. We had nine earlier, didn't we? Oh, warthog. Warthog. Now we're going to add from one. I mean, we've barely moved a hundred meters since we've come into Musiara Gate. And let me just do this. So we're on nine species in about 500 meters. Now we're going to the other side of the marsh there, Dave. You see, there's a whole bunch of animals together. And we can get some water back to make it number 10. Let me just have a look. Um, where the water buck keep going? There's a water buck, and you can see quite far away, but still, that's species number 10. Now, let me just double check where it was. All right, a little bit more to the left, Dave. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, right? Am I being mad? Yes, keep going. There it is, there it is. A nice bull eland for number 11. So let's start from the eland and work our backwards. Eland, waterback, topi, zebra, wildebeest, Thompson's gazelle, Grant's gazelle, lion, hyena, jackal, warthog, 
I still feel like I'm missing something. What do you think, Dave? Eleven. Found the zebra. Yes, I found the zebra, Dave. Ah, yes, wait, I did see another one. I've just got to find him. There he is. Okay, back off to the right, Dave. Okay, keep going. A little bit more. And uh, I think it's there. Can you see the one hyena standing there somewhere? Yes, to the right. And zoom in. There we go. There's the backs of some buffalo bulls. And there's a hyena doing exactly what I think the rest of them have done. Got into the marsh to lie in the nice, cool, wet mud. So buffalo is species number 12 in 500 meters this morning. I think we can... How many, how many mammal species do you think we can get today? Both safaris. So we're on 12. Think we can get 20? 20 mammal species. Oh, we're going to have to work hard to get to 20. We're going to have to work very hard to get to 20, but I think it's possible. Stanley says he saw a baboon. I didn't see any baboons. Did you see any baboons? Maybe on the other side of the marsh. Topi, zebra. Ah, oh, you're standing, you are correct. Okay, then, a second. Let me just guide you in. Where was that baboon now with my binoculars? Okay, you see this Tommy closest to us here? You see the Tommy closest to us? Come out, come out. Okay, where are the cranes? Okay, keep coming right. I'm oh, sorry, left, that was my fault. Normally I blame the cameraman, but that, okay, there we go. So zoom into that Tommy and go slightly to the right. A little bit more to the right. Keep going right. There we go, well done, Dave. Eland, we forgot the Eland, so we're on 14 already. I counted the Eland apparently, no. So we're on 13 with the, with the baboon. Ooh, seven more to go. I think that's quite a challenge for a day to get that many species in a single day. I mean, we definitely have to top up on some predators, you know, cheetah, leopard. What else are we missing? Serval, caracal, side-striped jackal. Oof, that would be a that would be a, a humdinger of a day. Do we count human beings? Nah, nah. They are a mammal. Now, of course, a boha reedbuck is actually one I have been looking for, especially around the edge of the marsh here. Yeah? Oh, Do you see those birds that just landed in front of us, Darby? Where are they? There. A little bit. There we go. Around. Aha. There's one, a wattled lapwing, um, and we are quite far from the marsh, but there are some other birds around, and we're just going to have a look. So we've got wattled lapwing, I mean, up with the binoculars, and ah, black-headed heron, Dave. So just move left from the wattled lapwings towards that little bush, keep going, okay, to frame about now, there we go, black-headed heron. No, wouldn't be amazing. Is it moving? He spot something. Did he get it? Oh, I'm not sure. Yes. And uh, strangely enough, the martial eagles in this area, apparently the black-headed herons are one of their favorite things to eat. So that's very cool. <gasps> Did we get the banded mongoose on camera earlier? Or was it when we were having gremlins? Oh, we had gremlins. Damn it. I thought it was 15. Okay, um, so what other birds? Fuzzman Sparkles, so we've got the black-headed heron. We do have the crown cranes, of course. Oh, uh, they're quite far, but there's some spurwing lapdings. About there, let's just have a look. Okay, the zebra. All right, left of the zebra next to the wildebeest. Shamsung's wondering how my bird list left, 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 left. There we go, in front of the wildebeest, some spur wing lapwings. 
they take the same sort of ecological uh, niche as the blacksmith lapwings do in southern Africa. We don't, of course, have any blacksmith lapwings, so they, they fill the same same place around the edges of water, water holes and streams and rivers. I have a, some crown cranes, and I. There are some egrets and stuff in the marsh, but they're just a little bit too far for them, I think. Uh, Champsling's wondering how my bird list is coming. It's coming along smashingly. And, uh, and now that we're in Paka, which is far more open, uh, we can definitely help increase the, everyone's live bird list. Look how cute those warthogs are. They're really enjoying the morning sun. They're, just, they're actually sleeping. Their eyes are completely closed. Oh, comfy, warty. And we can hear, I can hear a Rufus Snape lark. I can't see one. <whistles> now again, the wind. Oh, Hummercorp. Well, there we go. That's another bird for the bird list. And they're actually making more Hummercorps at the moment. Okay, oh, they just stopped making more hammer corps. Okay, see where the wildebeest are jogging? Oh, they've disappeared into the grass. But I only saw them because the, the, the one was on top of the other. There is a lilac breasted roller if you go a little bit to the left of that there, Dave. Um, oh, I think he's a bit far. Don't worry. Oh no, he's flying, that's why he's moved. You see he's coming towards us. Where that termite mound is. He's shh, bloop. Oh, is he behind the pole? Okay. Oh, pucker. I hope you get us home today. Okay, there we go. One more, lilac breasted roller. You got him, middle, center frame. Here we go, another one for the Mara bird list. And we'll just keep them coming. Now, I'm sort of in two minds whether we're gonna stay with this lioness or not. So while we decide what to do next, it seems like Taylor is on some leopard tracks.